Welcome back to another Crafty Workshop Builds video. This is part 2 of the seat delete in my R56 Mini Cooper, so stay tuned. This is what I'll be using to wrap the seat delete. I'm going to measure and cut the felt. Then I'm going to use a masking tape to use as a guide so that I know exactly where to lay down the seat delete onto the felt after applying the adhesive. And now I'm going to apply the adhesive. I'll also apply a small amount onto the felt. Now I'm going to start the wrapping, then I'll cut and remove the excess material. I make sure I don't get any of the adhesive on the front side of the felt because it will ruin it. So I'm using this cardboard as a shield.
In order to get a straight cut, I use this square as a guide.
Now that the wrapping is all done, I'm going to leave it to dry and now I'm going to work on the trunk release. This cable that was below the seat is to manually release the trunk, should in case the battery goes dead or so. I'm going to use this strap to make an extension to the trunk release. The seat delete cover that I'll be installing won't allow for quick access to the original cable because the seat delete cover will somewhat be held down by the rods from the harness bar. So in order for me to remove the seat delete cover, I will first need to remove the rods. I want to have a quick way of opening the trunk in case of any emergency situation. So I'll be making an extension to the trunk release. The strap extension is done, so now I'm going to install and test to make sure it's good to go. And now I'm going to do the final install. This is the fire extinguisher that I'll be installing.
all the tools and parts that I've used, I will have them listed in the description below. So feel free to check it out. And now I'm able to access the fire extinguisher and the trunk release from the driver's seat. And that's it for this project. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about the seat delete. And if you like this video, remember to hit that like button. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.